China's Communist Party confidently celebrates a hundred years. Hi there, everyone. I'm Jeff, and this is Plain English, the best way to upgrade your skills in English. Here in the audio version, you can upgrade your vocabulary and your listening skills online. We have a lot more ways to practice. JR has uploaded the full lesson to plainenglish.com slash 384. Coming up today, Monday, July 26th, 2021, China's Communist Party celebrated its 100th anniversary this month. From humble beginnings in a house in Shanghai to strict control over the lives of more than a billion people, the party has changed a lot over its first century. In the second half of today's lesson, we'll talk about the English phrase take place. This is a very common expression. If you're going to speak English, you need to know how to use take place. I'll give you several examples in the second half of this lesson. Let's get going. On July 1st this year, China's Communist Party officially celebrated its 100th year, brimming with confidence. The coronavirus that plagued the world in 2020 and 2021 may have originated in Wuhan, but China's swift response to the outbreak contained some of the damage within its own borders. In the year of the coronavirus, the Chinese economy grew while others shrank. No wonder, then, that in his speech marking the party's anniversary, China's president and party general secretary, Xi Jinping, said that China is a thriving nation advancing with unstoppable momentum. He confidently said that China doesn't have to listen to preaching from those who feel they have a right to lecture us. Of course, he didn't have to say who he meant. A hundred years ago, this all would have been hard to imagine. China was just coming off a civil war, and most of its population lived in small rural villages. The party began with a meeting of about a dozen communist activists in Shanghai. The meeting took place in a French diplomatic building and was attended by 30-year-old Mao Zedong from Changsha in south-central China. From these humble and secret beginnings, the party surged to power as communism gained favor in the Chinese countryside. In 1949, the party toppled the American-backed government and began a run of what is now 74 consecutive years in power. In the early years under Mao, the Communist Party revered the Marxist ideals that everyone is equal and all personal property should be abolished. Under Mao's rule, China suffered from economic stagnation and famine. Tens of millions of people died of hunger. The Cultural Revolution closed schools and universities, condemned people to hard labor, and erased much of China's traditional culture. But the party has evolved over the years and now presides over a country 
that can barely be described as communist. Urbanization, private businesses, high tech factories, home ownership, bullet trains, payment apps, export driven growth none of these fit with traditional communist ideals. Instead, today's Communist Party is about a philosophy that prizes social stability and order. Over all else, the party is organized like a pyramid. Z is at the top, the leader of the small but powerful Politburo. Below that is the National Central Committee, followed by tens of thousands of committees at the regional, district, and township levels. Below these are many, many more. Committees and activists at the neighborhood level. All levels of the government, police, and military are controlled by party members. The party is all powerful, but not everyone can join. Only about 92 million people are official party members. To get in, prospective members. Must demonstrate complete loyalty to the party and its ideals. Once in, they have to maintain their status by continually demonstrating their loyalty to the party by participating in political study sessions and volunteer work. For those who are members, however, life is good. The best jobs and careers, both inside and outside government, go to party members. Part of the party's success in maintaining power and social order comes from this pyramid structure. It allows the party to have eyes and ears in every part of society. Private businesses include party members who can influence the direction of the business. Neighborhoods, universities, and even office buildings have their own party representatives or committees. This allows the party to exert its influence at the national, regional, and hyper local levels. Another key to the party's longevity has been technology. China has its own internet firewall and blocks Western websites and services that don't bend to regulators' will. Google, Facebook, Wikipedia, and Twitter are all blocked in China. Many other websites. Such as the BBC in English are available, but heavily filtered. The country has a vast network of surveillance cameras and advanced facial recognition software. It also gobbles up citizen data on communications, purchases, transportation, and personal activities. Data from these sources. Can be used to spot and quash social problems. Those can range from a pothole in a city street to litter on the sidewalk, or even a potential protest. Cameras everywhere, facial recognition, and vast troves of personal data help the party to maintain order, but. It's worrying for those who value personal and political freedom. Two examples illustrate how this can affect individuals. Jack Ma, who founded Alibaba, one of China's greatest business success stories, criticized China's regulators in a recent speech. At the time, Alibaba. Was preparing to go public 
on the Shanghai and Hong Kong stock exchanges. The IPO was canceled, and Mr. Ma disappeared for three months. When he emerged, humbled, his business was restructured, and his ambitions clipped. The other example is Apple Daily, a pro-democracy newspaper in Hong Kong. The founder, publisher, CEO, and many writers and editors were all arrested for violating Hong Kong's national security law. With its bank accounts frozen and much of its leadership in jail, the newspaper was ultimately forced to shut down. I was originally going to spend more time talking about how the party is organized and the differences between the government and the party, but it was almost too hard to figure it out from the outside looking in. I even asked a few Chinese citizens, and they all gave me different answers. So I figured it was better to leave that part alone. Today's English expression is "take place." This is a very common way of describing where or when things happen. We usually use it when talking about events. The wedding took place in a beautiful garden. That means the wedding happened in a beautiful garden. That's where the wedding was held. China's Communist Party was founded on July twenty third, nineteen twenty one. The very beginning of the party was a national congress that took place. From July twenty third to July thirty first, nineteen twenty one, that meeting took place at a French concession. A concession was a building where diplomats governed part of Shanghai. So the meeting took place in nineteen twenty one, and it took place at the French concession. That's how we use "take place" to describe when and where things happen. Here's a trivia question that will be asked for years to come. The 2020 Tokyo Olympics took place in what year? Of course, we know that the 2020 Olympics are taking place now in 20. Twenty-one, they postponed the games last year, but kept the name. So, if someone asks you when were the 2020 Olympics, you'll know it was a trick question. The 2020 Olympics took place in 2021. I went to the Olympics once. The 2012 Olympics took place in London. I was very fortunate to have the opportunity to see two events: ping pong and beach volleyball. The table tennis took place in a convention center, while the volleyball took place at the Horse Guards Parade. That's an outdoor arena. So, as you can see, I used "take place" to refer to a city, London, and a specific place, Horse Guards Parade. Either one works. In fact, you can use "take place" on a grand scale or on a tiny one. The 2016 Olympics were the first Summer Olympics to take place in South America. In 
a lot of wedding ceremonies took place in people's living rooms. Notice that take place is almost always used with events. An event is like a sporting competition, a wedding, a meeting, a convention, a concert, a rally, a ceremony. All these things can take place, and they're gatherings of individuals for an event. We can also use this for sudden events that are not planned. A tornado took place at 5:30 p.m. An accident took place at a busy intersection in the center of town. Here are a few examples from previous lessons. The Mexico train collapse took place. On line twelve of the city's metro system, Britney Spears's hearing took place virtually, so she called into the hearing and participated through her computer. And it wasn't just hers; a lot of hearings and trials took place virtually in 2020 and 2021. Due to the pandemic, plus new internet scams are taking place on dating apps. If you're describing a book, a movie, or a TV show, you might want to describe the time and the place of the story. I like Cable Girls, a show on Netflix. It takes place in Madrid in the 1950s. In that example, I used "take place" to describe both the time and location of the story. Cable Girls takes place in Madrid in the 1950s. Another good show is The Crown. That one takes place primarily in England, though there are some scenes in Wales, Africa, Australia, and America. It takes place over several decades of Queen Elizabeth's life. I'm reading a book called "There's No Such Thing as an Easy Job." The book. Takes place in Tokyo. Next time I get a chance to watch a movie, I'm going to watch Minari. It's about a family of South Korean immigrants who move to America. The movie takes place in the American state of Oklahoma in the 1980s. Today's lesson was about China, so let's go to the most famous Chinese philosopher for today's quote. Confucius said, "He who conquers himself is the mightiest warrior." I just got done watching Wimbledon, and the announcers were saying how much of tennis is a mental. Game, and it's definitely true. The mental discipline those players have is amazing. In tennis, as in so much of life, conquering yourself, having self-discipline, is such a feat. Here's that Confucius quote again: "He who conquers himself is." The mightiest warrior, and that's all for today's plain English. You've reached the end of the audio portion of Lesson Three Eighty Four for Monday, July twenty sixth, two thousand twenty one. Remember, we've got the full lesson online at plainenglish dot com slash 
three eight four. The full lesson includes a how-to video where we're going to show you how to start a sentence with a concession. If you want to make an important point, but you want to concede a little bit of ground beforehand, you can use the word may, and this is a great way to make an important argument. You make a small concession before you make your main point, and that's what our how-to video is all about today at plainenglish.com/slash three eight four. Coming up on Thursday, we'll talk about three ideas for improving education that have come out of the at-home learning experiment of 2020 and 2021. That's on Thursday's lesson. We'll see you then.